Welcome to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today we're in the mountains and we're gonna fish this river that's right behind me. First of all, let me show you this. I got a brand new e-bike from Go Tracks, and I'll tell you more about that later. Uh, and today we're gonna have a very special guest. Well, I should say guests, but one special guest that you guys all know. So stick around and uh, it should be a really fun one for now. I'm gonna try to go catch some trout with a, I got a fly rod, I got a spinning rod, see what they bite on, see if I can get anything for dinner tonight. All right, let's freaking get it. All right, e-bike, see what we got. Whoa, it takes off immediately. Oh, oh goodness. You know what, I need to adjust these shocks. There we go. That's better. It's very rocky. It's a pretty intense uh, freaking road. <laughs> Look at all this. Wasn't really ready for this kind of off-road mountain biking. Haven't uh, ridden a bike in a really long time. <laughs> I used to mountain bike a little bit when I was when I was much younger. There we go. Woo -hoo! There we go. Yeah. Now we got it. All right, check this out. This looks like a good first spot right here. Uh, there's a little trail that goes down and I think we could fish that. Let's go. Oh yeah. Looks pretty good. Maybe over there. There we go. All right, what do you guys think? Looks pretty good. I think I'll just cast it in there, let it drift. Maybe fish right in here somewhere. We'll find out. So I have an indicator and under the indicator, I have this caddis nymph. And then I have another one similar to that right under on the underneath it as well on the bottom so see if we can get anything here it's a nice drift a nice drift felt pretty good about it Oh, got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the? Nice. Nice. Heck yeah. Dude, that was fast. That was like the third cast. I gotta get down there. There's this little guy. It was quick. <laughs> got him. Beautiful rainbow. All right, I'll wet my hands first. I know the rules. Look at that, wow, what a beauty. Dang, the patterns are so nice on these guys. Don't keep them out of the water too long. Then just take this out of them. There we go, came out pretty easily. All right, guy, we'll let you go. Thank you for playing. There he goes. Sweet. Hey, dang, we did it on the second or third cast. Fly fishing's too easy, man. It's too easy. 
Let's go again. Hope I didn't just jinx myself by saying it was too easy. Here we go. This is a good one. Perfect. I'm going to do a little... Huh. Oh. Nope. Dang it. It's in the tree. It's in the tree, man. Mend. Mend. Roll cast. Okay, yeah, definitely spoke too soon. Couldn't get any other bites. Uh, maybe there was only just that one fish right here. That's why. So maybe we'll move to another spot. I don't know. I don't know. Here, I'm going to show you guys this and tell me where you would fish it. So I caught that one right at this boulder. Just right on the outside of this boulder. Um, or the inside seam. And... Yep, I kind of just ran it through there many times. And then that second one hit, but nothing else. What do you think? It gets kind of shallow. All right there is all shallow. It's kind of like a nice pocket right here. It's pretty fast. Across the river, nice eddy over there. I don't know. I'm just guessing stuff. Worked though. Water's moving pretty fast here. It's really beautiful out here. So, so we're up in the Sierra Mountains. Do you guys know who the special guest is yet? Right after this, we're gonna go over to his place, and uh, we're gonna go hang out. You'll get, you'll see who it is. All right. Well, I don't know what happened to the fish, man. Can't find any more. Anyways, this video is sponsored by GoTrax. This is my first electric bike, and man, what a game changer. I've actually never ridden one of, it, one of them before, and it's so awesome. We've been staying recently at this place. There's this massive hill. This bike just handles it easily. On this terrain, where it's like a giant boulder, it's a little bit more difficult. I think it takes a little more skill, and I'm not used to that. And when I'm on flat ground, it just takes off and just goes like, 20 miles an hour and it's so effortless as well it's got this 750 watt motor easily handles hills and look at these massive tires on them good for all kinds of terrain uh, probably even the beach too and the front suspension is adjustable earlier uh, on this ride when it was super rocky just soften it up a bit to just cushion a little more the ability to do that is pretty cool and it's got this awesome color LCD display that tells you your speed you can choose between five different speed settings ranging from 7 miles an hour to 28 miles an hour or use the throttle and skip the pedaling entirely it's got 33% bigger battery than the competition 20 amp hour lithium-ion battery it's also got a tail light and a headlight and the tail light goes on when you press the brakes too so pretty cool when you're riding in the dark and I actually really like this uh, add-on rack that uh, they sent me as well. Put the bottle there, got my GoPro clamp, and uh, I can put all kinds of stuff on there. So pretty, pretty handy, I think. Might look a little nerdy, but I think it's cool. 
We're gonna head back to the van. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> we just powered through that. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> if you've been thinking about getting an e-bike, I will highly recommend this Go Tracks. Man, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, I'm going to be definitely using it a lot more and it's just so good to have for commuting as well. Uh, if you've been thinking about getting one, I'll leave a link in the description for this Go Tracks. And thanks for Go Tracks to, for sponsoring this video. Let's go meet up with our special guest. Oh, there's going to be multiple special guests actually. And one of them, a lot of people have been asking me about what happened to him. So we're going to find out what he's been up to. Dawson just made me some chorizo tacos. Mm. Delicious. All right, guys. Yo, 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 what's up, man? Good to see you. Good man. to see you, too. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah, this is the place. Awesome, dude. Everybody's downstairs. Oh, Next dude. Here. So nice. Yeah. It's nice. Dude. Oh wow, the kitchen's really nice. Sweet. All right, let's go say what's up to everybody else. Welcome. Oh, what's up? What's up, guys? Chris. Good to see you. Good to see you. What's up, dude? Ex YouTuber. It's been a while. Hey, Justin. Hey. Adam. Good to see you, bud. Good to see you. That's right, guys. We got a little reunion going. Uh, it's great to see all the guys. And we are at Matt's pond now, and uh, we're gonna do a little fishing for. I think there's bass in there, and there's some crappie, I think he said. And let's see, go ahead. Yeah, look at this donkey. He's huge. He's like a mix horse, donkey. I don't think, I don't think Matt knows. <laughs> he just showed up, so. Like with the previous. Hey, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right, well. You guys are fishing already, so we're starting behind already. I think, I mean, I think Matt knows the pond best. He's all the way across. So, might have to go that way. Yeah, I got flip-flops on. This is pretty sweet. Did you have one? Chris had a bite. Who's gonna catch? All right. I'm gonna get... No, I don't have any more bullet lures. But I'm gonna get the most fish. Calling it right now. I don't really have much bass gear, so I put on my steelhead setup. I got worms, so <laughs> I think that should work. Let's try it out. All right, let's try out this worm. How deep is this, Matt? And loaded with crappie right here. That's the biggest one yet. Killing them. Killing them, Chris. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good ball. Finally. Little bass. Oh. That's the big spot. Big fish spot. Oh, nice. Tiny little bass. It's actually one of the better ones you caught, right? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I know. Little large mouth. There you go. <laughs> First fish in the pond. If there's this many little ones, there's gotta be a big one somewhere. Try it right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that, got a crappie. Crappie on this little twitching jig. Also for steelhead. Dang, this guy ate it. <laughs> There you go, nice crappie. 
on the touching jig out here in Fisherman's Life Pond. I got a little twitching jig, oh. little steelhead twitching jig. Oh. Okay. So, you know, people may have been messaging me, where's Matt's? Where's Fisherman's Life? Is he alive? Yeah. What have you been up to, bro? Oh, just living life on the ranch. Got the farm life going on. Just yeah. maintaining three properties. It takes a lot of work, especially with three kids. Dang. Yeah. You've been busy been busy but it's been good yeah. yeah you think you're gonna make any more videos oh yeah for sure uh, i think yeah. things are finally settling down now like all the big stuff i, I got under control yeah and so yeah yeah you got it set up now yeah so now i can yeah. get out there again i'm planning to go to the bahamas soon oh yeah and yeah some, some trips good. up in the mountains more camping videos especially yeah. since i'm up here since you're here already mm -hmm. yeah so if you guys want to uh, stay at, on his property, that one that you saw earlier, it's on Airbnb. Yeah. Right? It is, yeah. Or this one, too. I'll show oh, you yeah. the other place on the hill. Oh, yeah. So we're working on that. Hopefully, we can get that ready to be booked out in the next week or so. Dang, nice. Yeah, and then they could fish the pond, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fish the pond. Yeah, that, there's a lot of fish in here. It's a good amount. But I've been, uh, I caught four and I can't catch anymore. Yeah, there's some big ones. I feel yeah. like it might be the time of year. Yeah. It's pretty sick though, man. Yeah, it's cool, right? Yeah. Especially on a nice warm day with the what, sun setting. Yeah. <laughs> what about the campgrounds? You got some... Mm, we're focusing on the, the property. On the, the properties the, the, first? Yeah. yeah. The campgrounds will probably be um, probably later next... I don't know, next year, yeah, I think. For sure. After I get this tractor going and then yeah. I can level the land a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just make it nice. Nice, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, looking forward to all of it. Thanks, man. It's fun, man. Yeah, thanks for coming out. It's uh, cool to have you guys come out here. Yeah. Be one of the first to fish the pond. <laughs> thanks for having us, man. Mm -hmm. Gotta catch that big bass, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll try. <laughs> oh, my steelhead set up, you know? Nothing really wants the worm. I got one crappie on the worm. It seems slow right now. Yeah. I put one of those little bass on, under the bobber. Under the bobber, yeah, bass on the bobber. What's going on over here? You mumbling stuff. How many I fish you got? I just don't want to issue I haven't caught anything. The, I think the sink, I was using a big Cinco for a while. And yeah. I could feel like little fish eating it. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Um, You're going for the big ones? Now, yeah. Got now a crankbait on there? I got issues still in crankbait. He doesn't know it, but I'm going to catch a fish on his lure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, Adam's got one on the crankbait. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's a decent one. That's... <laughs> Look at these guys on the boat. <laughs> Ish and Matt's. And then Adam got a nice one, dude. That's probably the hey. biggest one, huh? Biggest one on the It's like so a 10 far. pounder. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah. I'll give Ish a little credit. I stole his bait for it. But... <laughs> I think look at this. He's just watching me. <laughs> I think his name's Murphy. Hey, Murphy. What's up? You want me to catch a fish, huh? I'll try my best. So watch out, dude, you're gonna get a twitching jig in your neck. <laughs> well guys, a lot of fun fishing the pond. All right, so we're back at the Airbnb. The pond is actually a separate property than this one. So all but Matt's uh, also runs this Airbnb as well and he's gonna have that other one that he mentioned the tower one up and running soon Which is right next to the uh, pond. I'm gonna make some dinner right now So if you guys want to stay here for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description for his website and it's up in Arnold, California Pretty nice area good fishing a lot of lakes around a lot of rivers around too and the guys actually this morning they were they went uh, to do some lake fishing on their kayaks. I didn't have the kayak, that's why we went to the river. So hopefully they bring back some uh, trout. So we're just waiting for him now, but I'm gonna start cooking some rice. Oh, we also have a ton of fresh tuna. So 
Adam, diehard fishing. He recently went to Mexico, got some yellowfin tuna. And Chris, Chris P. Fish, uh, underneath is some bluefin tuna he recently caught. So we got a treat. We got a beautiful tuna uh, to work with today. Now I want to make uh, with a little bit of it, with maybe with like half of it, I want to make some honey ginger poke with that tuna. So well, let's make the sauce for it first. Got the hex clad, links in the description. Of course, it's always the wok. Wok's the best. We'll just go medium heat there. I got butter, I got ginger paste, sesame oil. This is homegrown honey from Ish with Fish. He, uh, he's a beekeeper now, so he quit YouTube and became a beekeeper. <laughs> and we got soy sauce as well. So that's all going into the sauce. A little bit of butter. Oh. Look at this. This is a fan. <laughs> This is wow, look how thick that is. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. Delicious, honey. And yes, you can use metal on these X clad pots and pans. Alright, that is tasty. And check this out. So, you might know it. I recently had this collab knife with Ricky, and I had this found this one guy that makes custom made sayas. This is a knife sheath, and he makes it out of a few different types of wood, but super sweet, protective. I'll leave a link in the description for, for these as well if you did purchase one of these knives. If you didn't, I'll leave a link for the knives as well. Pretty sweet. Sesame oil in the pan. No. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, wow. That was yellowfin Adam brought. Yeah, pretty good, huh? Yeah, really good. Mm.
making this. All total. Beauty. Yeah, this stuff especially, like you cannot crush. You really have to slice. And this length is not really long enough to go in one stroke. So I'm just gonna take two strokes. So I just made this big batch of rice and I messed up. I totally forgot that we were in high elevation, about four or 5,000 feet. So you have to account for that. You gotta add more water and more time. So messed up, man. That's crazy. How's it guys? Tired, tired, <laughs> but good day. Good day. Good day. Success. Yeah. Success. Yeah. Success. Nice. Yeah, best trout day ever. Nice. Yes, it smells good. You got some here. bass too? Yeah. Some no bass. bass crawl. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We got some green onion in there. Glad. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a ginger honey. I know you like the ginger poke. <laughs> Dude, that's really good. Yeah, your fish is Yeah, That's really good. So this is a bag of mochi right here. Just comes like like this, and then you heat it up, you grill it. You can microwave it even. You can put it on the uh, on the pan, and it just becomes nice and soft and you know nice mochi. And this is plain flavor. It's, it's not sweet. It's not savory. It's basically exactly like plain rice. And you can add flavors to it. What I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna cut this in half, maybe. Or I'll just do it like this. And I'm going to fry it and then kind of make it crispy. And make a little crispy mochi. Put a little bit of this tartare on there. Woo! Good catching up with everybody. Yeah. Glad we get together. Family. Oh, yeah, man. It's a lot of fun. Thanks, Thanks for having us, Max. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, Max, for the invite. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chris, for the. the Thanks for the. the Chris. Yeah. And Adam. Yeah. Thanks for the yellow Cheers. Thing. Yeah. Thank Cheers, you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Oh, man, Jimmy, you're missing out. <laughs> Chris. Chris, that bluefin's so good. Mm. You so said there's good. yellow yellow tail, yellow fin. Yellow fin. The seared one. Alright, let me try one of these. Crispy mochi. Dang, oh. mm, look at that. The whole time I was cooking, I was Eating, so I'm actually not that hungry. <laughs> I probably ate like a whole pound of tuna already. <laughs> well, guys, everybody enjoyed the dinner. The crispy mochi was actually uh, the favorite, I think, of everybody. And yeah, it was really good. We ended the night just playing some cards, playing some pool. Had a great time. So, big shout out to Fisherman's Life for having us. And if you guys want to check it out, like, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. And if you don't know already, he also has a new channel as well, all about all his land. I think it's called Man in His Land. So I'll leave that link in the description too. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.